Hey guys, this is John. Today I was gonna edit a Monster Hunter video of me and Morin enjoy playing. You know, like, you know, but something new came up today. Monster Hunter 25 minute reveal trailer. Like, gameplay reveal. Like, new, new gameplay, except it's in English. And it's only the single player portion of the game. And if you want to check that out, check the link in the description down below. I'll, I'll leave a link to it down there. Um, and it kind of introduced some new stuff that the, the we're talking about before. Well, kind of new stuff. The they showed a new weapon, uh, I believe. Well, not a new weapon, as in a new weapon in the series. It's an old weapon in the series. It's it's a heavy bow gun. It's a heavy bow gun. Um, which I don't believe they showed it before in the uh, other games. They only showed the light bow gun and the arrow, I believe. But it looks pretty fucking sick. But I'll give it that. We'll get to that when it gets to it. Let's just play the trailer. and I'll talk over it while you guys are. This is watching it. I'll, I'll, I'll cut some stuff here and there to just get my point across, but yeah, so let's go A monster that's been giving the research commission a lot of headaches has shown up again We don't know exactly what the monster looks like only that it sent dozens of hunters back in bad shape So let's get right to it open up your map So first of all the English it, it's English translated and it sounds awesome like I was like surprised how well it sounded I'm supposed to hear Greg. Why guild So I I don't know. I heard in Japanese and I was fine with it because I hear a lot of anime. I was like, oh, you know, this is great. Uh, this is, but hearing it in actual like uh, language I can understand is so weird. I was not ready for this. And then you could get a better look at the map, which we've seen in the other ones, but they were in low re re low res. So I, it looks really nice in high resolution. Which um, the stream showed everything kind of fuzzy and blurry. So now that we're gonna get a look at everything, we see all the all the areas, all the detail, and all that awesome stuff. Like you can even uh, see different um, uh, different camps where you can actually travel to. Uh, and you also get a good look at your kitty, which I was trying to keep an eye out for your cat your cat in this game, but I couldn't really get a good. I only saw him do something cool. I think once or twice here and there, but he really didn't do all that much. But I'm just happy your cat is with you, and it, trust me, he looks pretty sick when you uh, later on in the video when they actually start like showing you changes the stuff on him. Have locked onto the scent of the monster. Be on the lookout for more tracks or traces. Um, that's not our target. We gotta stay focused on what's important. So again, this is, there's nothing really new. That we're just us following the great jaggers through the forest, but we do get a uh, new thing that I didn't know at least before that you can use berries. Uh, as ammo for your, uh, for your sling, your little slingshot crossbow thing on your arm, which, that's pretty cool, and you guys should get, see, newer, or uh, not, well, kind of new, I think, I haven't really pointed it out before, but, different stuff that you can pick up later on and shoot at the monsters, which was really cool, you can even pick up stuff while you're fighting them and running, running away, which I was really surprised to see. So this is also nothing new, but it does kind of show off just how much nicer it is in this cave now that it's in high resolution. You're gonna, you're gonna see what's going on in the cave. You're gonna see the flies following the monster around. And you see the monster just getting let out of the cave. And now you can get a much better look at the jump attack. That you can basically jump on the monster and start beating the crap out of it. Well, stabbing the crap out of it with your not your uh, hunter's knife. Which I think looks so, so cool, honestly. And I guess you can even move on the monster into individual parts. And my new favorite thing uh, that the monsters can do, they can actually break down new areas for you to go to. Like that! Look at that shit! It's so cool! And now we get a better look at the flash fly in the game, which basically is like a flash bomb. And he horribly misses trying to cut off the tail. <laughs> which shows how decent the hitboxes are now in the game. Now you have to be like, you actually have to hit the tails with your weapon directly, like not just hope that the hitbox actually smacks it. Which that's kind of cool. And also one thing I really noticed is when you actually hit a different part of the monster, it, the, the, the part of the monster actually changes color slightly. So if you're aiming for the tail and you're hitting the tail, like the right spot, it kind of changes color a little bit. Like it's showing that you're hitting the tail only, not like the base of the body. 
So another thing that I found out today that was really cool is that you can actually drop down meat. Like, the meat will attract other monsters, I believe, because it, that's what it seems to be doing, because he keeps putting meat around the entire map. And it's summoning other monsters to come to fight the great, the, not the, the great. It's, the other monsters are coming to fight the Anginas, which, by the way, that's the name of the monster. Which I had to look back and, uh, find out the name for the video. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna call him Barney, if I'm being honest. <laughs> As you see right here, you can actually see the tail lighting up when he stabs it with the knife. Or, well, not necessarily lighting up, more like dimming down. I guess you can say. See, it changes slight color right there. Uh-oh, the great Jagras has appeared once again, and it looks like the Anjanath is not a fan of the competition. Large monsters get very territorial at times. Depending on their temperament, they will either fight or flee. This time, the Anjanath chooses to avoid the encounter with the Great Jagras. As the as the narrator is saying, the monster's temperament, like the personality basically, is different for all the monsters. Even if they're the same monster, one might be more aggressive, one might be more timid than the other ones. And that's awesome to see that there's different personalities, kind of like, let's just keep calling them temperaments. Different temperaments for the uh, monsters, so, you know, aggressive, docile, passive, that kind of stuff. And now you even see now, now you see him putting down meat in the Rathlos' uh, little nest, which if you look around, you'll see little baby Wyrens flying around, which I thought that was pretty cool. Wonder if the Rathlos and the Rathlos are getting busy. As you can see, the living, breathing ecosystem in Monster Hunter World features its own hierarchy of predators and prey. And the limping is back. So now when you see limping again, it means that a monster is dying and is ready to either knock out and capture or kill. And now you can see more of the fast travel system where you can get your wire in to come in and pick you up and drop you on a camp. And now you can see the, you know, weapons a little better actually when he gets in there. You get to see that you can switch weapons. So the main character, sw uh, so the main character goes back to camp. Max just switches his weapon to a heavy bow gun. Uh, he switches his armor too to a uh, heavy bow gun set. So you know he switches it to the uh, the adrenal. I can't remember this thing's name. So I'm gonna call him Barney. He switches it to Barney's armor, and basically, it's it does way more damage. Got, again, bow gun armor has a lot less defense, but it switches off with having a lot of offensive abilities. And I'm actually not all that into bow guns, arrows, and stuff in, you know, the past monster games. But in this one, it seems pretty fucking cool. I might actually get into it. And now we get fi we get to finally see some heavy bow gun uh, fighting. He has a bunch of different new abilities. And we also get to see the, uh, the new some new mantles. The Steady Mantle and the Challenge Mantle, I believe is the name of uh, the mantles. The Steady uh, Mantle makes it so you don't get staggered from the monster while you're attacking it. So it looks like the Atronas is kind of uh, tired of the great Jagras's uh, shit. So it's kind of wringing his neck again, which is always fun to watch. But now the main character takes his chance and starts obliterating the monster with his gun. And it looks so cool. He's got explosive rounds. He's even got great- he's even got wire and shots! Oh my god, my gun lances kind of got those too, but I- but it looks so nice when he uses it on the gun. On the gun. Oh my god. And there it is. Quest complete and a job well done. But yeah, that's everything I was able to find out in this uh, video. Um, if you guys have found anything that I didn't pick up, because I, mean, I, I literally just watched the video and just 
jumped on, recorded it real quick, and now I'm off to work. So if you guys find anything new, let me know in the comments. And if you guys are definitely gonna be getting Monster Hunter, let me know. I am definitely gonna be getting on the PS4 and be playing with my friends. But oh my god, I can't wait for them to show off the gun lance. Do it! But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!